What is crack a lack and collect the cultures, collect the tyrant here again today. Today we have another Funko Pop review for you guys. Today we have the Fallout 76 Funko Pops, guys. They just got released here in Australia this week. And I can't wait to get into them. So if you guys want to see what this review turns out to be for these Fallout 76 Funko Pops, sit down and relax. And let's get these boxes open. So yeah guys, we're gonna get into these boxes here, but before we start, I do have a segment video. Uh, for those who don't know video, you guys can skip ahead if you just wanna get into the review, or if you wanna see some backstory or pop culture behind Fallout 76, we're gonna do that right now. Fallout 76 is an action role-playing game developed by Bethesda. And let's just say, it wasn't their best work. The plot is set 25 years after the Great War. Vault 76 is opened, and its population must make its way out into the wasteland to repopulate and restore the land. The player must also uncover the mysteries of the Scorched, ghouls that have been infected by the breath of creatures that were awoken by the Great War, the Scorched Beast. As a game itself, as I stated before, it wasn't Bethesda's best work. The game had a ton of bugs, and with the lack of NPCs, players had nothing to really deeply connect with as a player or immerse themselves in when it came to a story-driven narrative. This led to a ton, and I mean a ton, of bad reviews on all sorts of platforms. After a week of playing, I myself did not see what all the negativity was about, so I made a positive review on the game itself. Within a week of continued gameplay, I realized I was wrong. The game was trash. I love trash. If you really wanna see something trashy, look at this. It wasn't only the game. Bethesda did a lot of negative things to its consumers outside of the wasteland, such as the nylon bag incident. And a nylon bag when you promised canvas? A nylon bag when you promised canvas? Where people invested more money and got a lousy nylon bag after the advertisement stated the bag was made of expensive materials. It seems the project was cursed from the beginning, which is a real shame given that Bethesda has created some masterpieces over the years. But if there's one positive thing that could come out of Fallout 76, it could be the Funko Pops. So, let's get started on this review. Alright guys, so we got seven Pops here. Seven Pops. Now the only characters that are lacking here are the generic human characters. As you guys know already, I'm not a big fan of those. I'm all about that power armor, boys and ladies. I'm all about the power armor. And, I guess, uh, weird looking radioactive frogs as well. Alright guys, so we have the Fallout 76 Pops. I'm going to leave the Power Arms to last. We're going to stuck into the Mole Miner first, I think. Let's take a look at the box first. Pretty standard, really. It's not really that pretty, you know? It's got like a cardboard color background with some sort of gear from the vault. You know, it's not the best box, but it does suit the theme, I guess. But yeah, guys, we're going to get into this Pop now and have a look at the details. Righto, guys, let's look at this Mole Miner. This is a crazy looking dude. Now, I remember playing Fallout 76 for the first time, and I remember my first encounter with one of these creatures. I had no idea what it was. And the pop here is done justice to the actual beast that is in the, in the game itself. And this is really epic. This is a really nice pop. They've actually slouched it a bit too, so it looks hunched over. So I love that. I really like how they've done the colors with the yellow here. It's sort of got this earthy browns going on and these yellow bits make it pop, if that makes sense. I like the ghouly green they've used for the color scheme here on the hands. Let's take a look at the cloth on the back of this uh, piece here. It's epic. Look at that, all the details in this. This is epic. Got these little belt buckles running through the stomach there. And I love these cords here running off into the face for the gas mask. That's really epic. I really like that. Really decent pop this one. I really do like this one. All right, guys. So let's do a head test on this guy. And it is a solid piece. So no articulation there if you want to display him outside the box. Alright guys, so Mole Miner stands up perfectly fine, those nice flat feet. So yeah guys, nice solid feet, so this guy will stand outside the box for you guys if you want to display him outside the box. Alright guys, Mothman's up next, and this pop is super heavy. So definitely a heavy pop, and look at those eyes. I love pops with colored eyes, guys, you know that. But we're going to get inside the box and have a look at this guy in detail. Ooh, check out this guy. This is a creepy crawly, guys. Now, the Mothman 
in the game is actually a, is a gigantic insect. It's, it's a moth. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. But you'd be walking through the night, and all of a sudden you hear this weird fluttering of wings, and you turn around, these glowing eyes in the distance. Now, I really like the details in the, in the fur here, and I guess they're called fur, like microscopic fur that, that moths have. It's really epic. It really is a nice... Nice amount of detail in these first two pops already and texture on the pop itself You can definitely feel the ridges in that now the big thing for me is the legs It is a creepy looking thing guys. It is really creepy. It's definitely something really unique I haven't seen a pop like this uh, yet. So I really like this one look at the look at the thorax here You can see all the details in this one red eyes look really good They're also textured with tons of detail and if you take a look at the wings Tons of detail in that as well. And they've spray painted this bit red, so that's really cool. I like this one. Nice piece. I love the matte black on this one. Uh, and with the red eyes, it definitely stands out. So this one is a really good piece, guys. All right, so let's do a head test on this one. Solid piece, just like the mole miner. So the head will not turn if you wanted to articulate it for a pose. So unfortunately, that's just the case. All right, guys, Mothman now. And Mothman stands up perfectly fine. Tons of balance there on the, on the wings and the legs there as well. So he will stand up perfectly fine for you outside the box. But super heavy pop, this one. Really do like this one. Moving on to the next one now. All right, guys, so we've got the Rad Toad. Now, <laughs> looks like a bunch of crap, really. Um, I have to say, uh, I do love the box art for this one. This is probably my favorite box art because the pop looks nothing like the box art, in my opinion. But we're going to look at the details on this guy close up outside the box. All right, guys, check this guy out. He's, he's quite hideous, really. Now that I can actually look at it from behind, there is a ton of texture on this one as well. Just look at that texture, guys. That is epic how they've designed that. You can actually feel every little bump in that. And it's got warts on the top there. You've got the eggs. I believe these are eggs that pop out of it. Warts on the legs. I really love all these warts, guys. Even like tiny little bits of texture in the skin there. Like scales, I guess. Uh, frogs don't really have scales, but I guess this one does. And the eyes there, there's tons of little eyes that's been mutated from radiation from this weird creature that used to be a frog. I like these little front, front arms too. It sort of reminds me of a T-Rex or something, like these little stunted arms, like useless arms. It's pretty funny. You can definitely see from the side there, as I said, tons of texture, guys. I'm just noticing it all. I'm taking it all in as, as we speak, so... This one's a really detailed pop. I really do like this one. It sort of surprised me outside the box. I didn't realize it had this much detail from inside the box when I was looking at it, so... This one's a really good one. I like this one. Alright, guys, let's do a head test on this one. Solid piece once again, so if you guys like to articulate your pops outside the box. Unfortunately, this one, just like the other two, is a solid piece, guys. Rad turn up next. Same rules apply here for this guy. Nice flat base. Tons of uh, balance here. Nice amount of space on the bottom there, so he has no problems uh, keeping balance on the ground. All right, guys, so moving on to the next one now. Time to get into the power armor. I don't know what to start with, to be quite honest. Uh, we're going to start with the T51 in the... Uh, I don't know what color scheme this is, but we're going to get inside the box and have a look at the details in this one. All right, guys, check this guy out. Uh, not much different from the other T51 power armors I have done reviews on in the past, uh, but the color scheme on this one is really what I like about this. I just love this, this sickly green. This is really good. I always like to touch these things too to see if they move, but they never do. Uh, this one's got a laser rifle. Is that a laser rifle? I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a laser rifle. I think the other one's had a different... Uh, weapon uh, from the other series that came out for Fallout. But yeah guys, tons of good colors on this one. Love the metallics as well. All the metal pieces are nicely detailed there with the metallic paint. So we're going to do a head test now. Alright, head is solid on this one too. I'm very surprised by that to be quite honest, but unfortunately that's just the way it is. So this guy cannot be articulated from the head. Right, so Power Armor, T51, and this one stands up really well. Tons of balance there for you guys, so if you want to display him outside the box, he'll stand up for you. All right, so we're going to move on to the other power armors now. All right, guys, so another T-51, but this time we've got the Gatling gun or chain gun. Uh, this one looks really good. I like the color scheme for this one, but we're going to get inside the box and have a look at this guy. All right, guys, pretty similar design from the last one, as it is the same mark of armor, but I like this color scheme. It's like a dark blue, because I believe I have one that is the vault dwelling color scheme in this mark of armor, and it's a lot more lighter blue, if that makes sense. So it's really good to see something a little more darker. Gives us a bit more variety when it comes to color schemes for these pops. But the thing that stands out, obviously, is the gun here. Look at that big bullet drum. That is epic. It's huge, guys. It's massive. That is a really epic weapon. I do love mini guns. That's really sick. Um, if you can see there, there's actually some actual writing there. And that is 1776 to 2076. I love little touches like that on pops, guys. That's definitely points up there. Also, you got the stars here on the, on the shoulders. Also, with this one, there's tons of red through this as well. I like that. That's really cool. like that a lot. That's really epic. Unfortunately, we've got some glue here, guys. So when they glue these together, I found a problem already. 
uh, a bit of glue has run off onto the piece itself and that's not good guys I, I can almost see like a fingerprint or something there too so that's really the first defect I've found on these pops so far but we're gonna do a head test and see how the rest fare Right, so the head is articulated, guys. It can turn if you want to pose him outside the box with that epic chain gun. Looks like he's eyeing down the enemy to fire upon. And he's got a lot of weight at the front, but he still stands up perfectly fine. So, yeah, guys, this guy will stand up and do his job if you guys are one of those people that like to take these things outside the boxes. So, yeah, guys, this one's a really good one. I like this one. All right, guys, on to my favorite uh, mark of armor or make of armor, I guess, whatever you want to call it, and that is the X-01 Power Armor. I do love this armor, guys, and this is one of the best armors you can get in the game. But this one is a really interesting color scheme. It is a really interesting color scheme, and I really can't wait to see this thing in my hands. So we're going to take it outside the box. All right, guys, check this badass out. Look at that. I can't remember the exact name of this weapon's called, but I believe you can make it in the game or find it. But it's like a guitar. You can play music, and it also can be used as a weapon as well. I love the color scheme in this one. It's about time we saw some red power armor. I really do like that. I did miss out on the Nuka Cola one that came out a while back, but this one will do me fine until I can get one. I do like red power armor, guys. This is epic. Now, I actually made a video on the, on the leak of this pop, and I actually said that this thing reminds you of Kane from... Uh, WWF wrestling or WWE wrestling. You know that costume he used to have the, 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 the black flames and the red and stuff? This is what this guy reminds me of. It's kind of, yeah, it's exactly like that to me. But anyway, guys, this is really epic. You see the flames running through the armor there. That's really cool. Love that. It runs around the whole uh, section there as well. Everything else has been painted black, uh, matte black, so that's really good. This one is a really nice pop, guys. But anyway, guys, we're going to do a head test on this one. And this guy can be articulated if you wish. It's like he's rocking away on the guitar there. That's cool. All right, so now we've got Kane. <laughs> nah, we got the, uh, uh, X01 power armor with this guitar blade and he stands up perfectly fine as well guys nice flat feet there and yeah tons of balance so he will do his job as well guys all right guys on to the last pop now all right guys so i think i say the best to last because this armor is really aesthetically pleasing i do like this one really epic armor and that's the excavation armor but um yeah guys let's get this guy outside the box and have a look there's so much stuff going on with this pop compared to the other power armors i really like the cables on this one a lot more and I love the yellows running through the armor there too. They've also stuck with like an army green as well on some of the parts of the armor, just like the game. There's like these extra bars of protection around the chest piece there. Shoulder pads look like they have little lights on them as well. That's really cool. I love that. Nice thick legs there, guys. But the head is the main focus point here because this thing is epic. I just love the cables, as I said before. The little lights also got a touch of uh, yellow there too. And I love these metallics. This uh, metallic silver goes really well with this... Uh, this piece. No weapon for this guy, which is sort of surprising, but that's all right. I, I sort of like the stance of this one. It's very casual and it's, you know, like he's got nothing to worry about because he is so protected from the armor, but that's really awesome. I do like this. All right, guys, so let's do a head test on this guy and this guy's head will probably only go that far. That's as far as it goes. It's not too, it won't go all the way around for you guys. So it does lock it. Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, no, it's not going any further than that. So it sort of does lock around the shoulders. I'm not, I'm not going to try and force it anymore. It is a bit stiff around the shoulders. All right, guys, excavation armor or excavator armor. And same rules apply for this guy. Tons of balance there, large flat feet there. So he'll stand up if you want to keep him outside the box. All right, guys, so it's time for my rating. All right, so you guys should know by now how I rate these. For you newcomers, I'll just explain this quickly. I rate out two parts of five. The first five being I check for any defects and stuff like that in my personal collection and then rate that out of five. And the second part is how Funko Pop went about designing these Funko Pops from Fallout 76 and if they did the franchise any justice with the designs, etc. All right, guys, for my first rating, um, the only thing I have to talk about is that we had, uh, oops, that one fell over, but we had a bit of uh, glue here. You probably see that there, the glue. I talked about that before. And just some like, you know, I think there's a bit of paint missing off the teeth there. You know, just stuff like that. Nothing too drastic. So I'm going to give that a 4.5, guys. Because everything else was well structured too. They will stand up really well and stuff like that. So that's going to get a 4.5 for that rating. Right, so now we're going to move on to my second rating. That is Funko's Pops Effort. All right, guys, everything here looks quite amazing. I really like the colors. The range looks very different in colors. Every Funko Pop represented here is in a different color. And it looks great as a set together outside the box. Right, so I'm going to talk about the Mole Man first, or the Mole Miner, and I just love the texture on this one. I just love the details they put into the cape. It's it's really, really beautiful. It really is. It's well designed. Also, the Mothman, guys. The Mothman had tons of texture on it as well, so it was a beautiful piece. It really was an epic piece as well. I have to say, it really is a nice design. As for the T-51 armors, uh, they did a really good job. I've done a review in the past with these, this mark of armor, as I said before, but I really do like the new additions to the color schemes. Uh, 
And the chain gunner one is probably one of my favorite ones to come out of that, out of the T51 Power Armors. I really do like this new edition. It is a really nice piece. It really is with the reds, yellows, and the dark blue. Really nice piece. For the X01 Power Armor, really good color scheme for this one. I like the flame effects on it. Uh, it was well designed as well. Really nice piece. I like the guitar. The weapon in the hand is really epic. I do. They did a really good job on the design of that one. Uh, the Excavation Armor is a beautiful piece as well. I love the colors they put on this one, and I love the design and the aesthetics of it. It is an epic piece of kit. I originally thought this was going to be my favorite, hence why I left it to last, but I think you guys might be surprised by my favorite one, and that has to be the frog or the rat toad. I, from inside the box, it looked like crap, but when I took it out, it looked quite amazing. It really did. With all those details of the of the warts and stuff, really, really nice piece, this one, and the color scheme as well. Works really well with this organic creature, so I like that one. All right, guys, for that, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. So that is a 9.5 out of 10, guys. Really high score for this one. Uh, hardly any defects, really beautiful pops. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you guys did enjoy this review, you want to drop a like, totally your choice. Um, if you liked it enough to stick around, I do reviews like this all the time. So maybe some of you guys would consider subscribing if you do like these reviews. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. For all you collectors out there, keep on collecting. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, collect time now. Oh wow, that was a glitch and a half. You're, like, you're not, literally not walking, you're sliding everywhere. Why are you waving? I see you. Is that, is that you doing that, or is it... I'm just, I'm just walking around. It's probably you. You know to me. He's fucking scooting around on your feet. Oh fuck.